don't show license plates on purpose but this is a cool one look Alaska you guys in Alaska don't care about this but you don't see that around Florida too often it's cool Florida has some really great sunsets really great Hey friends, it's Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting. Just yesterday in the mail I received something cool. Kiting Magazine, the new one. We talked about an old one from autumn of 2012, but this is volume 39, issue two of kiting from the American Kite Flyers Association. You guys ever wonder, what is the volume, this is volume 39, issue two. Some of you guys probably know, I probably learned this at some point in my lifetime, but what is that? Volume, how many volumes, is that how many years that they're, they're going? Is it how many, I don't know. Check it out though. See? A couple articles about Treasure Island and check it out. I'm famous. I'm Brenda. Angela. We're back. This article in here, there's a big article about Treasure Island. Here's a couple of people I know. There's Lisa and Scott, some good friends. And some uh, really interesting information in here, a story that I forgot about, which is about why Treasure Island's called Treasure Island. Interesting article, you have to read about that one. But uh, there's a really cool stack of kites that my friend Steve Polanski has made. Group of friends hanging out there at the beach. This old Chuck, Jay. Good old friends. Here is a really cool stack of kites by Alton Brown. This is all Jimi Hendrix. As you can probably tell, but it's really cool to see that one fly. And some of you guys know Feather Mania is at the same time as this. Uh, this particular article is about kite mania, feather mania, and some of the other things that go on at Treasure Island. But here's some of the feathers that we make and trade with each other. Big article. Hey, check out this guy. Big duck. It's really worth getting this magazine, everybody, especially if you're kind of around some kiters. You always see some friends in there, and there's always good, good articles and some really cool stuff. And hey, if you want to make a kite like this, right here's the plans. You can use your QR. Do you, anyone ever use these things anymore? I, I don't think that I even have a QR reader on my phone, but I know you can download one and it gives you plans for this, but isn't that cool? It tells you exactly how to make this, this kite. He's the creator. Cool magazine. Hey friends, thanks for watching. Tomorrow's another day with more kiting. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna do a little bit of painting morning time painting usually wait till the evening but I'm inspired by something and I will tell you what it is later see you tomorrow happy flying everybody